What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. It's Saturday morning. I'm going to do some handiwork today, or at least attempt to. Um, but I know that you're first already admiring this, uh, this quarantine mullet. Did it myself this morning. Uh, I figured I'm not going anywhere. What better time than to uh, shave the sides a little bit, keep the, the front, the top, and the back, grow out a mullet. I don't know how long this is going to go. What do you think? I actually think it doesn't look that bad. Let me know. But I'm probably going to keep going out, to be honest. Uh, the item, the task at hand. So we have this like pull-up bar, the, the type that you like put on a door frame and, and you can do pull-ups. But uh, I always feel like uncomfortable putting it on the door frame because I feel like I'm going to just rip the door frame off. And I would love to have that available like down in the basement in the same space where the rest of my like fitness related stuff is. So I'm going to try to do some handiwork today. Um, we got, I found some old wood in the garage, found some nails and a hammer and a saw, and I'm going to try to set this up somewhere in my basement. I don't really have a plan at the moment, but um, here, here we go. But welcome to the video. All right, so update. Uh, we did did some planning for a little while. Thought about like doing something, hanging something up from the rafters. Thought about hanging something using this, uh, the like metal beam going across the middle. And thought about using uh, this area in some way. And this is what we're gonna do. We're going to drill some holes in the wall up there where the circles are. And then essentially put the bar into the holes and have a bar hanging in the wall right up there. So I don't have to then put any wood anywhere else around here or like um, really nail anything in. It's kind of just putting holes in the wood that's already there and trying to stick the bar, this bar, through the holes. One hole, one side uh, is complete. You've got the rod in there. Basically what uh, we're having to do here is took apart this thing. Um, it had the the full bar attached here and taken it apart. It comes in three pieces so that we can put uh, one piece up in there then drill the hole over there and put the other side in and then uh, connect them together at the top. Boom! This hole took me like 10 minutes. This one, the other one, yesterday, because I had no idea what I was doing, took me like two hours. Honing my, my handyman skills. I've never really done much like this before. We've got the two holes. Got that hole and that hole. Here we go. Got ourselves. I think that's a functional pull-up bar. Test this. Woo! I think I have to um, put some kind of, maybe like, something sticky, some kind of glue or something in here, because there's, there's still a little bit of like wiggle room in there, but that thing's locked. That thing's in place. We got ourselves a pull-up bar. Given the pull-up bar its first test today by hitting a pull workout, some back and biceps, um, starting it off with some pull-ups. I'm I'm pleased with the way it's turned out. It's not perfect. It it has a little bit of give, um, but it's it's sure sturdier than putting it on um, on a door frame, at least in my opinion. And I am am proud of it. Like I I don't do handiwork like that. That kind of stuff is not my thing, um, but it's set up, and I'm very, I'm very excited to have a pull-up bar because that is the one thing that, like, um, in terms of home body weight workouts, it's tough to hit like any kind of pull workout, any type of like exercise if you're back and biceps, like doing you can do push-ups all day with hardly any equipment with no weights or anything and like hit the chest triceps shoulders but it's harder to hit your back and your biceps and a pull-up bar is what you really need and now i have one 
didn't have them before um, and that is a very good thing to have moving forward I will be using that a ton um, and it's also something that like I'm not super great at pull-ups like on a on one set I can do like as many reps as possible I can bang out like up to 10 max um, so that's something I definitely need to work on and this gives me like the added motivation to work on it more obviously so we're doing plenty of pull-ups and it's something that I can um, progress on and reach to like like a legitimate 8 to 10 rep failure zone by doing pull-ups so that's something really good um, I'll be using that a lot so uh, I just did pull-ups about five sets of pull-ups five sets of rows five maybe six sets of biceps this is also the first time that I hit biceps since the eight hour arm workout, um, which go watch that video if you haven't already. But um, I gave full week off to the arms and uh, they feel they feel well rested. My, my left elbow is feeling a little funky after it when I tried to um, work out like chest and shoulders the next uh, few days afterwards. But other than that, it went, I'm feeling fine now, a week later. That's video, we got the pull-up bar set up. Um, my hair is, Hair is what it is. Uh, it's tat hair right now, but uh, once this grows out, it's coming. It it will come. It's off this video. Maybe a short one. I don't know. I have no idea even how much footage I have from this stuff. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, let me know what kind of videos you want to see during this time. That's what I got. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.